there are two ways to do this. I'm going to show you the fast and easy way first. Step one, install the JMesh Tools plugin. Link in the description. Select your object, press Shift S to make sure that the cursor is at the world origin. Then select the object and set origin to the 3D cursor. This sets the object's origin to the world origin. Now open up JMesh, click Circle Array, and select how many items you want. This is the easy way. Here's the longer way on how to make a circle array. In this case, our object is going to be the cube. Move it someplace off. Set this object's origin to the 3D cursor. This is where we're going to be doing the rotation around. In object mode, press Shift A and add an empty plane axes. Press F2 to rename this to axes. Select our object add a modifier and add the array modifier. Turn off relative offset. Select object offset and the object to select here is the axes we just created. Count is how many instances of this object you wish to duplicate. Let's just do 10. We're about to rotate this axis. The number we use is 360 divided by this count. Since we have 10, 360 divided by 10 is 36. Select the axis, press R, then Z, and you can see what this does, and type in 36. Do yourself a favor and get the J Mesh add-on. It'll make things so much easier for you.